My name is Mike Bowne. I'm the Senior Director of Security at Fitbit. That means I look after the security of all our products, as well as the detection and response efforts that we run at Fitbit. Fitbit is a leading global wearables brand. In our product security team, we've approached security testing as a series of layers. Uh, at the bottom layer, we have our design and consulting services where we work with people before they make a product. And then we move into the more testing and assurance services. Um, those are things like automated testing, manual testing that is done by our team. And for us, crowdsourced security testing is that final level. It's our safety net that we use to, to catch anything that we might have missed internally, uh, but also to catch things that happen you know, that we couldn't have anticipated when we designed as things move on, as the environment for security changes. And crowdsourced testing is great for, for that kind of testing. There are a few phases to have BugCrowd help us. You know, the first is in making, setting up our program and communicating the fact we have a program to the research community. You know, they have a, a large number of researchers that participate in their programs and they help us to, to get the right people focused on doing our testing. BugCrowd also helps us with triage. That's probably the most important thing they do for us. Uh, so when a researcher reports something to us, the bug crowd folks are taking a look over what's been reported, they're checking whether it seems to be a real issue, they're checking more importantly for us that all of the information that we need to react to that is, is contained within the report. One of the benefits we saw when we first started working with BugCrowd is that we've had a number of really interesting issues reported to us. Uh, issues that our internal team really honestly looked at themselves to say, would we have ever, ever, ever found this issue? Uh, and you know, the, the answer is no, you know, they're, they're really uh, creative issues that have been put together in, in, a, in a way that we wouldn't have considered. There's a few different values for us to running a bug bounty program. The first is obviously finding bugs. We knew our own internal team could do a great job of finding bugs, but we also wanted to have that safety net of a, of a bug bounty program that could help things that the team couldn't predict or that, that happened after the team looked at a particular product. Um, the second part was using the, the program to communicate to the community that you really care about security. And we could say as many times as we want that we care about this, but you know, for us, actually spending money and, and, and showing the community that we're working with them is the, the ultimate commitment to security, and the Bug Bounty Program really helps us do that. So recently uh, Fitbit released a device called the Ionic, and we're including that in our Bug Bounty Programs uh, in the very near future. And that's something we're really excited to be able to do. You know, we're really proud of the work that we've put into securing the Ionic. And for Fitbit, the Ionic was a, a big step forward. It's our first real smartwatch. Um, and a you know, smartwatch is, is a lot more complex than a, than a standard fitness tracking device. Um, that means there's a whole bunch more attack surface. It means there's a whole bunch more complexity to think through. Uh, and the security team is involved every step along the way there in, in thinking that through and designing those controls and testing the device. And we're really excited to see what comes out of exposing the crowd to it. So our other selling point was that this is happening anyways. You know, people are going to be researching our devices. They're going to be trying to find creative ways to break into them. And really starting a bug bounty program was really our way of just formalizing that relationship. We'd always been working with security researchers anyway. We had a responsible disclosure program, but this was our way of encouraging that communication, making it cooperative, not reactive or adversarial. 